Welcome to my channel, Millennial Susie Homemaker. Today I'm going to be sharing with you ladies my Dollar Tree girly haul, or as the Brazilian ladies who follow me on Instagram would call mis comprinas fofas. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you all. Here in the United States, it's not that easy still to find ultra girly um, household items like that that aren't super pricey uh, for a young lady like myself um, who's working towards starting to build a nice um, ultra feminine pink uh, kitchen and house um, that's also like girly and shabby chic things that many of us really love especially those who follow me um, and have been following my previous blogs as well and so you know I did try the best that I could to uh, find things within the um, Comprinas Fofas and uh, Ultra Girly realm at the Dollar Tree. Uh, and I feel that perhaps with time, as more of us start embracing this, there will be a marketplace available uh, here in the United States where it is also, um, you know, ultra girly and affordable things that we can get for our home um, that we can all start sharing and embracing here on YouTube. And for my Brasileras and Latinas who follow me, hola, bienvenidas muñecas a mi canal. Hoy les voy a estar demostrando mi girly haul. Up, como ustedes ya oyeron, mis comprinas fofas que compré en la tienda de peso que aquí se llama a Dollar Tree en los Estados Unidos. Y pues, como le estaba explicando a mis um, señoritas en inglés, que aquí en los Estados Unidos todavía no es tan fácil encontrar una variedad de cosas um, que son súper femeninas para la casa, para la cocina, y que no es tan caro, ¿sabes? Como cosas rosadas, que es mi color favorito, porque el mercado es um, todavía un poquito diferente. Pero siento que con el tiempo eso puede cambiar. Y con esta compra traté de buscar las cosas más chulas y fofas que yo podía encontrar por un dólar. Así que ustedes ya saben, si quieres seguir conmigo, puedes presionar el botoncito abajo donde dice capítulo cerrado y ahí lo puedes cambiar a su idioma preferido. And for the ladies who speak English, who have been holding on for this disclaimer and translation, let's get started with this girly haul. All right, so for my first... First item in the girly haul scavenger hunt at the Dollar Tree that I picked up was this super cute Let's Planner stickers, which come with 323 pieces. And I thought that was a really good deal because if you go on Amazon, usually something like this with all of these um, organization stickers would range about $5. And so here, I'll show you a little sneak peek. We have um, weekend, we have uh, little symbols like reminders, don't forget. Um, I love the front page as well with the blues and the pinks. And um, on this page, it has, let me see if you guys can see, like a little gold um, this week shopping list on the other side, um, little numbers and Let's see, this one is super cool too, in black and white. And I just love having things like this because it helps me stay more organized when it comes to my planner and it gives me more motivation as well. And so I'm going to be putting everything back in its organized place in this reusable bag that I got um, at the Dollar Tree, of course. And it says, be happy, be kind. I thought this was super cute because I do a lot of shopping at the Dollar Tree. You know, I'm all about being frugal and fabulous, especially when it comes to my makeup and things like that. So I found this to be super cute. And so I will be putting everything back in there. So we keep everything organized on this desk. 
Next thing I got here is this um, Enjoy the Ride notepad. So I am very old school when it comes to um, writing down. I'm, you know, I'm old school when it comes to everything. <laughs> I think you guys already know that. Um, and so when it comes to grocery shopping and things like that, I prefer to just write it down, you know, and check it off as I'm going through the store. So um, I thought this was cute because it has a cruiser bike at the bottom with a little flower basket and this has 60 sheets on it so it should last me a good two to three, uh, let's say two months or so. Okay. The next thing I got was this sports armband, which is super helpful for me since I do um, often go jogging and or I'm doing exercise and I, you know, like to not have to hold on to my phone the whole time. And I like that it's obviously in pink and black. So anything with pink, you know, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Um, the next thing I got, which is the last for organization, um, I don't know if it should be under organization, but I'm just going to add it into there, um, are these sunglasses. Okay, they're a little heart-shaped sunglasses from the Dollar Tree, and they look like this. Ew, how you doing? <laughs> Aren't they super cute? I love how they have a cat eye effect to them. And uh, they're heart shaped, they're black, very stylish. And I was super surprised when I saw this at the Dollar Tree. I was like, whoa, Dollar Tree is leveling up. And that's the last for organization. Next, we're gonna go into housekeeping. So this has been around for a long time. Um, they're reusable gloves, and so I got a few of them, and they're heavy duty. They are obviously pink. I'll just show you for the sake of this um, girly haul. Looks like so. And uh, yeah, I do a lot of uh, hand washing when it comes to uh, the dishes. I'm, again, old school in that way, so I... Just use the dish washing rack. If you're Latina or you have a Latina mother at home, you most likely know that <laughs> we don't use the dishwasher. We just use it for, um, you know, drying off our plates and pots and stuff like that. So, and I do know how to operate it, but I just feel like I get a better clean when I when I just do it myself, you know. I'm just so used to it. So I went to the Dollar General to pick this up because I know they have this at the Dollar Tree, but they don't have this exact um, scent and uh, pink color. Um, Ajax has always been sold at the Dollar Tree, so I just went to the Dollar General for this one. And um, for this Chloralyn, bleach for cleaning the bathroom um i like having this because unlike clorox uh the clorox tends to be too strong the scent and uh, this one is still just as effective i always just use a tiny bit um but it's just a little bit lighter i wouldn't say that it smells like floral or anything it's just less strong so these two items are the exception they're from the dollar general and i got them from the dollar section all right, after that, I went ahead and got, let me see, this in here, this carpet cleaner, as you guys can tell, in my room, um, is really the only room in this house that has um, carpet still in it, but I prefer it because I feel like it keeps my room feeling warmer, um, and this is in Hawaiian Passion, so got that. The next thing I got here is um, these kitchen bags. So they're rose scented and I basically just use them for my um, desk trash bin and my um, bathroom bin. It does say to keep this away from children and I feel that's because they're most likely building their immune system so you always want to be careful having um, 
you know, any cleaning products around children and especially if it's like, um, like a rose scented trash bag, you know, or a rose or a lavender, whichever Febreze ones that you probably would get at Walmart. So that's that for housekeeping. And the last items that I got here are ones that I used to get all the time when I was a little girl and I still get it because you guys know I am all about being ultra girly and it's these super cute um, magic towels okay I'll show you it one by one so the glare isn't affecting it so this one is of Princess Jasmine and I plan on using this one in the kitchen and dining room uh, for wiping down the tables and so forth uh, you just pour it in some water, it squeezes up, and it pops up like a magic towel, okay? It's a small, like, small rag, but I love that it's, they have, like, cute Disney princesses. This one is a cupcake magic towel, and I plan on using this one for the bathroom. And the final one that I got was this super cute, let me see, Princess Belle reading um with her teapot let me see if you guys could see there you go you kind of notice it and i'll be using this one for my bedroom wiping down the um, fan um my organization vanities so on and so forth and that's the last for housekeeping now we're going to move forward into interior home decor and i was so excited when i saw these i'm going to take off these gloves now now that we're done with housekeeping is uh these super adorable vintage um wall arts and uh, the first one I got is of these beautiful gowns. And the second one is of this vintage phone with on top of uh, cheetah print books. And in the middle, it says, slay all day. Oh my gosh. I had to get this when I saw it. And, um, you know, I was thinking of placing it like this. Um, on top of my books and accessories um, corner so yeah kind of like you see it just like so putting the telephone on the bottom and the dresses on top and um, I think that will definitely balance my book section so that's for wall art the final wall art that I got was this little hanger that says, Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. And I feel like this represents me so well because I've always been an ultra girly, loving pink um, girl. And uh, I've always loved like vintage glamour, but being frugal as well. And uh, it just is a reminder that, you know, Embrace your style. If you're an edgy rocker style and that's you, then go ahead and embrace that. If you like to be more, you know, like festive and with neons, embrace your own unique style. And I thought this was super cute to have on top of my um, vanity mirror as I'm getting ready. All right. And that is, well, no, we're not done yet. We're not done yet with um, home interior decor. I found dun, 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 the most amazing dupe for if you're a huge fan during this time of Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works, you are going to absolutely love this. It's the toasted marshmallow candles um, from the Dollar Tree. It's Literally, oh, I love it. it. Smells exactly the same. Um, since I have carpet in my room, I like to have candles, but at the same time, just try to be mindful of, uh, you know, don't want to set anything off. <laughs> so I got this little tart warmer, also from the Dollar Tree, and um, these come with eight tea lights, so you just 
you know, turn one on, put it in there, get your little matching um, toasted marshmallow wax melts, place one on top. And I actually plan on having this um, on my coffee table for when we do our tea time Q&As and um, when I do my book reviews as well. I think this would look very aesthetically pleasing and relaxing um, for when we have those sessions. So stay tuned for that because those videos will be coming pretty soon. And uh, next we have here, let's see, um, self-care. Okay, for self-care, I was so surprised to see this next one. Um, and the quantity that you get for it. So here they have this, um, again, ladies, this is all from the Dollar Tree. When I said I went on a girly scavenger hunt, I meant it, okay? Um, it's a pink Himalayan salt, 100% naturally pure, so nothing mixed with this, um, bath salts, and I, you know, found the packaging to be super cute. I like that they give you a generous amount of one pound uh, for a dollar of bath salts. And um, I know most of you all know how, you know, the purpose of it, but I like to read the back as always, whenever I get a new item. And it says, after a long day, try our revitalizing salt range bath salts. Add a couple spoonfuls to warm water in the bathtub. You'll experience how fresh and smooth your body feels do not towel dry. Instead, gently pat your skin and allow it to air dry. That was a interesting tip because usually after you come from a bath, you just obviously you uh, towel dry yourself. But it says no, allow it to air dry, and um, which makes sense, you know. So that way you get the benefits of softening and healing cracked skin, reducing any swelling, getting rid of dead skin, and relaxing the body. And as obvious, it cleanses while it eliminates older. It says the uses of this product is excellent for an exfoliating soap. Now that I've never thought of before. I've seen um, girls like on Etsy uh, who create like their own body scrubs go ahead and include pink Himalayan salt, but I never thought that you can use the same finely milled bath salt as like an exfoliator. I always just like added it into my, um, into my bath. So I like that idea of uh, using it as an exfoliator. It looks thick yet finely milled. So I don't think it would be super harsh to just, you know, use it as so. And uh, yeah, next thing I got here for self care are these exfoliating facial loofahs. Let me see. The lighting here is kind of going in and out. But I think you guys can basically see the point of it. Um, I like using these. Uh, and as it shows in the back, it has like a little demonstration there of what it looks like when it's flat. And then you just pour some water onto it and it um, sponges up. I like using this as opposed to the Clarisonic. I have a Clarisonic, yet I feel like the bristle, even a sensitive one, is just too harsh. You know, it's too um, strong on the skin. Uh, and I like for something to, you know, help remove, um, but still is gentle enough. And so it says here, for care after using run loofah under running water, lay flat to dry. Uh, never ever do I leave my loofahs in front of uh, or in the bathroom, uh, especially if it's for the face. I usually always just, you know, take it out so that way it doesn't soak in the humidity. And um, that's a, you know, just a tip to be mindful of, ladies, if you're trying to reduce any acne that you have. Um, don't leave any facial brushes, um, even in the bathroom, even if it's uh, clean, because it can absorb that uh, humidity and whatever is in the air, you know. And um, it, these are six, so I have enough here for six months since they last a month. Okay. And lastly, for self-care, self-care part one, 
<laughs> is um, these pastel nail polishes. I'm gonna put it like this next to my skin. This one is yellow, okay? It's a pastel yellow. Kind of see it like so. And number 916 from Sassy Chic. I usually always use um, these Dollar Tree nail polishes to do my own pedicure, or I will also use them for my mother since I do her pedicure as well. We got a Conair machine for probably $10 or so, $10, $12. It was on sale last Christmas at Walmart. So I use it on her. And I will add like these little bath salts, giving her that um, quarantine time and, you know, frugal living, do it yourself vibes, uh, pedicure spa. So I know she's also going to really love these colors since we are, um, you know, brown, tan girls, ladies. And this one is in mint. See here? Just like so. It kind of looks a little aqua on the camera, but it's a green mint color, and you you should find it at your local Dollar Tree. It's a number 910. Okay. So that's for self-care part two. Uh, part one, now we're going into part two. Okay, and this is for the hair. So I found these adorable hair clips. They're um, faux fur pastel hair clips and uh, just saw them to be so adorable for this fall winter season and you know I'm not really one to follow trends like you have to wear you know only these colors for the fall and uh, you know only flowers for the spring you know if I like it I like it <laughs> I'm gonna wear it as long as it doesn't you know make me hot or freezing cold you know um, so the first thing that I got here let me show you before I try it on are these they're the little faux fur ones Let's see if you ladies can see it this is in light pink and this is in tan okay and so I'll just demonstrate to you what they look like as I clip my hair to the side. So I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I can put it here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, isn't that cute? Super adorable. Okay. I love the little fur. And this is going to be in light pink. So ladies can see here. See, oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait for winter to come since it's pretty hot where I am. But I could still wear it. Maybe with a lightweight um, long sleeve shirt. So that's this one, you know. Knowing myself, I would I would even wear this during the summer, just because it's so cute. I don't really care what season, you know. You should or shouldn't wear it for. Next thing I got for hair clips are these adorable large bow ties. The Dollar Tree has always been really good with accessories, and I feel like they're getting um, even more better now. Uh, perhaps since more people are opting to shopping at the Dollar Tree, especially during times like this, it humbles a lot of uh, ladies, as, you know, I would say. I've always shopped at the Dollar Tree before COVID, before the pandemic, and um, I never mind. However, it is, you know, my first time trying out their makeup. And look, oh my God, ah, that is so cute. That is so adorable. I can also like... Pull it back, like pull my hair to the side and then pin it at the back and it'll look really cute. So that's in tan. Um, and yeah, going back to like the pandemic and things like that, you know, that's another reason why I just felt even more inspired to create frugal and fabulous uh, videos. So that way we can learn, you know, as homemakers, for those who aspire to be such, 
um, whether it's full time, you know, after you're married, or you know, if you're a single lady who's trying to support herself right now, yet um, you would like to start preparing yourself, then you know, there's always a way. Everything just starts with the eye. You have an eye for something then you just go around and searching for that. You don't let the store dress you, you dress thyself. But it does help when the store has more variety of, como les estaba diciendo, um, cocinas uh, fofas, chulas, you know, ultra feminine. And I feel like that's going to grow with time, uh, especially here in the, uh, in the States. Next thing I got are these uh, hair rollers. So I'm sure you've always seen these and most likely think, oh, this is probably what your grandmother uses. But let me tell you, this is excellent for heatless curls. All you do, which I perform it on myself and onto my mother, is I will pull a little bit of, um, you know, when I'm not wearing my hair with some help, <laughs> I would um, just put some oils on the tips of my hair and then I will go ahead, get one of these, looks like so, and pin curl it at the ends. Um, usually I would use like just one roll is enough. Uh, however, if I want like those tighter Hollywood waves, then I would use the whole pack and, you know, layer it so that it looks super voluminous. And for $1, that's an amazing deal, you know, um, for creating heatless waves. Um, and I do that same method onto my mother at night. I just put some oil on the bottom of her hair and then curl it up and it helps lock in that moisture with the pin curls. Okay. Next thing I got is this hair donut. And it's really nice that they have a pictograph in the back just to show you if you've never done it before. This is really cute to do for a chic look if you want to like pull your hair all the way up in a high bun or in a low bun cutting your hair like three-fourths parting your hair three-fourths of the way you know bringing it all the way back like so you know putting this around it and then pulling it into the donut and uh having it sleek to the side with like a peplum blouse I was thinking with like a pencil skirt which just looks super chic um, whenever it comes to a donut bun I feel like you can't just wear it on its own you gotta match your outfit with this hairstyle for as simple as it you know looks okay so that's uh, part two of self-care hair care lastly is beauty okay so you ladies um if you haven't already seen my get ready with me it's an extensive uh, um you know tutorial however it's great for those who are working on improving their makeup skills even if it's like an everyday look it's inspired by my Barbies, my muñecas, dolls, which I call you ladies, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, Suzy Homemaker 25, and my blog, Millennial Suzy Homemaker, then you would know that I love Barbies, I love dolls, and um, I was inspired to recreate, like, a makeup look by them, and uh, the, everything that I have on my face, this is all from the Dollar Tree, my lashes, my eyeshadow, my foundation, which I just use a tiny bit. You will see in the video that I don't overdo it, but it gives a nice amount of coverage and it lasts well throughout the day. I've already run errands with this makeup on and um, look ladies, it's still there and this is all Dollar Tree. So it's all about being frugal and fabulous. And in that tutorial, I was mentioning how um, I hope that my Dollar Tree will soon carry the new mascara primer and because I saw a girl on um, the Instagram, Dollar Tree Finds or something like that. I forgot what she's under, but she sh showed this um, mascara primer. So I'm really excited. They just brought it in stock in my local Dollar Tree. And I look forward to trying this out. Okay. It's just... Uh, 
I love the Dollar Tree because you can just go in and you know what you're going to get and you can get a plethora of things if you, you know, just take your time and bounce between local stores. Next thing I got here is this a pink beauty blender. I've heard bad reviews about this, that it's like super hard. It's not as um, squishy as a regular beauty blender or even the... Um, What's the mock that they have? Real Techniques, that's the one that I was using before. Um, but you know, I think I'm okay with that because as long as it sponges up enough, right, to get a decent pat on the skin, I feel like that would help because most of the time when sponges are really squishy, then that tends to absorb more of your foundation. So I look forward to trying this out um, and seeing, you know, how much product does it really store and how well does it apply. And if not, then it's only a dollar. What does it hurt, you know? Seeing how they're improving with all their cosmetics, they may just start improving with the um, beauty blenders as well. And lastly, for beauty and for this girly haul, it's already coming to an end, is these lip glosses I'll show you just like so okay and uh, this one is in happiness it has vitamin E and it's like a peachy color okay the next one is in um, from beauty benefits this is a lip gloss in girl next door which is like, it looks mauve, but it's more like a caramel shade in person. And um, it has like little specks of golds in it, like rose gold specks. Then this one is also from Beauty Benefits. However, it's not a lip gloss. It's a matte liquid lipstick, and it's in Chestnut Rose. And uh, am I the only one who sees that this kind of looks like ColourPop? <clears throat> never know they could just be um sourced from the same um factory sometimes that happens you know i shop at rainbow and i hear many of the associates there say that many of their clothes also come from the same um factory or department of uh, fashion nova so i mean it seems to be pretty true because if you think about it some of their clothes do look very similar however i feel like with rainbow i have a chance of finding things that are a little bit more uh classier you know and less revealing like that so but still flattering uh and uh yeah you know this is pretty much it ladies for um this girly dollar tree haul as always as homemakers our goal is to learn how to become more frugal versatile and creative we learn how to use the resources that we have and make magic out of them multiply them into um, things that could benefit ourselves our family's wallet um, our family's health our family's well-being and um, presentation as well of our home and so on and so forth you know um, there's a plethora of things as I showed you here at the Dollar Tree that I got. I'm very impressed with the toasted marshmallow set for three dollars. You basically get, you know, a tart warmer, a candle, everything. Where at Bath and Body Works, that will probably cost you minimally ten dollars. I still think that's worth it, but it's good to know if you don't want to, you know, spend all that. You can invest three little dollars into a tart warmer collection and still enjoy that beautiful scent um, as a dupe all right and uh, yeah that's all for this girly haul thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe follow me on instagram at, at susie homemaker 25 my blog is millennial susie homemaker and uh, yeah looking forward to seeing you ladies next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.